What's going on? It's me, Liberty Fan Evie. And somehow my 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 video was having some trouble updating my my cat was having some trouble updating my video to my YouTube. So I decided to switch over to my other account on Screencastify. Yeah, I had to. I'm sorry. My account was giving me some trouble, which I don't know why it was, though. So, I'm here with my stories. With my Telltales Part 3. Uh, I don't know where my other stories are. Hello! App! Hello! I want to play. There we go. Is that it? No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I made plenty of stories. And I don't know which one to start with tonight. I mean, all of them are my favorite. But it's just hard to choose. Which one? Hang on. Do an animal alert. Already took a picture of that one. I think that's it. Oh, no. Come on already. This is taking forever. Come on. Oh, this is it. Okay. This story is called Possum Rescue in Blue Hat. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Evie who loved Paw Patrol more than anything in the world. One day, Evie decided to dress up, dress up as her favorite character, Chase, and go out on an adventure. Just like the pups, she put on her po blue police hat grabbed her flashlight, and set out into the neighborhood. As she was walking, Evie suddenly heard a loud noise. It sounded like a cat stuck up in a tree. Evie immediately, immediately sprang into action, just like Chase would. She shone her flashlight up to the, into the tree and saw a tiny kitten sitting on a branch. Help! Help! cried the kitten. 
I'm stuck up here and I can't get down. Evie knew exactly what to do. She took a deep breath and yelled, Bob Joel is on a roll. Then she climbed up the tree just like Sky, the flying pup. When she reached the kitten, Evie saw that it was very frightened. Don't worry, I'm here to help you, she said, just like the real chase. Using her police hat, Evie managed to get to scoop up the kitten, scoop the kitten up, and climb down the tree. The kitten was so grateful that it was that it started purring and rubbing up, up against Evie's leg. Looks like you made a new friend, said Evie's mom, who had been watching the whole adventure from the kitchen window. Evie smiled, a big, proud smile. She may not have been a real pup, but she knew that she had done a great job, just like the Paw Patrol. From then on, Evie never went on an adventure without her trusty police hat and flashlight. And who knows, maybe one day she'll become a real member of the Paw Patrol team. Now, I'm gonna skip Max and the body machines. Oh my god. Oh, there it goes. Now, this story is called Forest Friends The Tale of Daisy the Evie. Once upon a time, there was a little Evie named, named Daisy who lived in a beautiful forest filled with all kinds of creatures. Every day, Daisy will explore the forest and make new friends with the other Pokemon. One day, Daisy stumbled upon a group of Pokemon playing the game. They were having so much fun that Daisy wanted to join in. But she was too shy and didn't know how to ask. As Daisy watched from afar, she noticed one Pokemon who seemed to be having just as much trouble joining as she was. It was a little Pikachu named Max. Daisy gathered all of her courage and said, and approached Max. Hi, I'm Daisy, she said with a smile. Want to play together? Max smiled back and eagerly joined in the game. From then on, Daisy and Max were the best of friends. They explored the forest together and had many adventures. Eventually, Daisy realized that she had a special talent for making friends. And bringing Pokemon together, she became known as the Forest Friend, and she was loved by all. And every night before bed, Daisy would curl up with Max and the rest of her Pokemon friends, happy and content, knowing that she had found her place in the world. The end. Let's go, go, go. Okay, now this story is called Pokemon Adventure, Ash and Pikachu's Journey. Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a young boy named Ash. He had always dreamed of becoming a Pokemon trainer, and one day, his dream came true. Ash set, set out on his journey with his trusty Pikachu by his side. Together they explored the fast and colorful world, meeting new Pokemon and making friends along the way. They traveled through forests, across rivers and over mountains, encountering challenges and obstacles at every turn. 
but with their de determination and bravery, they always managed to overcome them. Ash and Pikachu battled against other trainers, caught new Pokemon, and competed in, it in exciting tournaments. In which each victory, they grew stronger and more confident. As they continued on their journey, Ash and Pikachu faced their greatest challenge yet. A powerful and mysterious group known as Team Rocket, who sought to control all of the Pokemon in the world. But Ash and Pikachu refused to give up. And with the help of their friends and their unbreakable bond, they defeated Team Rocket and saved the day. So Ash and Pikachu continued on their journey, eager for new adventures and ready for whatever challenge way ahead. The end. Come on. Now this story is called Puppy Heroes Save the Day. Once upon a time in a small town called Adventure Bay, there were six brave puppies who loved to help others. Their names were Chase, Marshall, Sky, Rocky, Zuma, and Rubble. They belonged to a team called the Paw Patrol. And they always went on exciting missions to save the day and keep everyone safe. One day, a big home storm hit a fenced bay, and it caused a lot of damage. The town's radio tower was knocked down, and they couldn't communicate with anyone. The Paw Patrol was called to help, and they knew just what to do. They quickly put on their gear and jumped into their vehicles. Chase, the police pup, drove his police car to direct traffic and keep everyone safe. Marshall, the fighting firefighting pup, drove his fire truck and put out any fires that may have started. Sky, the flying pup, flew her helicopter to search for anyone in danger. Rocky the recycling pup drove his recycling truck to clear any debris from the roads. Zuma the water rescue pup rode in his hovercraft to rescue anyone who might be stuck in the water. Rubble the construction pup drove his bulldozer to help rebuild any damaged buildings. Together, the Paw Patrol worked as a team to help and help everyone in Adventure Bay. They fixed the radio tower so that everyone could, could, could communicate again. And they made sure that everyone was safe and sound. Everyone in Adventure Bay was grateful for the Paw Patrol's help. And they knew that they were always there to save the day. And so, the brave puppies went back to their headquarters, ready for any new adventures that might come their way. This story is called, The Little Eevee Who Became a Hero.
Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a little, little Eevee named Sparky. Sparky loved to watch his favorite TV show, Paw Patrol. Every night before bed, he would settle down on his soft, fluffy cushion and, and watch his favorite pup save the day. One day, Sparky decided he wanted to, he wanted to be like a brave and heroic pup he saw on TV. He set out on a quest to learn how to be a hero too. He asked his friends for advice, but they didn't know what to tell him. Feeling a little discouraged, Sparky decided to take matters into his own paws. He began to practice rescue missions around his own home. Whenever his friends needed help, he was there to lend a paw. As he got better and better, Sparky realized that he, he had become quite the hero. He even started to dream about joining the Paw Patrol pups himself. One night, as Sparky was watching his favorite show, the Paw Patrol pups had a special mission. They needed to rescue a group of lost animals, including a little Eevee, just like Sparky. Without hesitation, Sparky sprang into action. He knew he could help the pups save the day, guided by his love for Paw Patrol and determination to be a hero. Sparky joined forces with the pups, and together they rescued all the lost animals. After the mission was over, Sparky returned to his cozy cushion, feeling proud and happy as he drifted off to sleep. He knew he didn't have that he didn't have to be a little pup to be a hero. And he felt grateful for the inspiration he got from his favorite TV show, Paw Patrol. Eevee joins the Paw Patrol. Once upon a time, there was a little Eevee named Ever. Ever was very playful and adventurous Eevee, who loved playing hide and seek and chasing her own tail. One sunny day, when Ever was out playing in the park, she stumbled upon a group of Paw Patrol pups. The pups were in the middle of solving an important case, and, in, and they needed Ever's help. <laughs> Without hesitation, Ever joined the pups, and together they worked as a team to solve the case, and went on an exciting adventure and traveled through forests, mountains, and rivers to reach their destination. Along the way, they met some new animal friends who helped them in their quest. Together, they finally solved the case and saved the day. From then on, Ever became a part of the Paw Patrol team. And they went on many more exciting ventures together. The end. Now, this one's my personal favorite. This is called Pokemon Adventure with My Best Friend. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Chase who was going on adventures. One day, he went on a walk in the woods and stumbled upon a mysterious creature. It was small 
and cute with pointy ears and white red cheeks. Hello there, she said to the creature. Pikachu! The creature replied, jumping up and down with excitement. Chase realized that he had just met a Pokemon. He had heard about these special creatures and was thrilled to have one, have found one himself. Can I be your friend? Chase asked. Be there! The Pokemon replied, nodding its head. From that day on, Chase and the Pokemon became the best of friends. They went on many adventures together, exploring the woods and meeting new Pokemon. Chase would catch more Pokemon and train them to battle against other trainers. As they traveled together, Chase learned more about the Pokemon and their unique abilities. He also made friends with the other trainers with other trainers and their Pokemon. It was an exciting and fun-filled journey for Chase and his Pokemon friend. And so, whenever Chase had some free time, he would go on a new adventure with his beloved Pokemon. Together, they would explore new places, battle other trainers, and make new friends. It was a wonderful life full uh, of adventure and fun. Now, this one is called Magical Transformations. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a little Eevee who loved Pokemon more than anything else in the world. Every day, the little Eevee would go on long walks, collecting Pokemon cards and meeting other Pokemon. One day, while exploring a nearby forest, the little Eevee stumbled upon a magical tree. As soon as it approached the tree, the little Eevee felt a warm and fuzzy feeling inside. Suddenly, the tree started, started to glow, and the little Eevee closed its eyes. And, I mean, wow. When it opened them again, the little Eevee found out it had transformed into a Vaporeon. A powerful and majestic Pokemon. Overjoyed by its new form, the little Eevee explored the forest as a Vaporeon, making new friends and encountering all sorts of Pokemon along the way. Just before it was time to go back home, the Vaporeon stumbled upon an enchanted lake. The lake shivered in the moonlight. And the Vaporeon couldn't help but feel drawn to it. As it approached the edge of the lake, the Vaporeon saw its reflection in the water. It gasped in amazement. It had transferred back into the little Eevee. Over the next few weeks, the little Eevee would visit the enchanted tree, and every time it did, it would transform into a different type of Pokemon. Each transformation was a new adventure, and the little Eevee loved exploring the world as a different Pokemon. From then on, the little Eevee was happily ever after, loving Pokemon more than ever, and cherishing all of the magical adventures it had along the way. The end. Okay, here we go. This is the last one I'm going to do for today.
once upon a oh, this last story for today is called The Little Painter Who Could. Once upon a time there was a very there was a special baby called named Monet. Monet was not an ordinary baby. You see, Monet loved to paint. Monet loved to paint so much that even as a baby, Monet would use their fingers to make beautiful designs and covers on the walls and the floor, and even on their, on their own baby clothes. Monet's parents were made by their special baby. By the special baby. And knew that Monet was the destined for greatness. They made sure to encourage Monet's love by of art by providing plenty of paper, paint, and brushes for Monet to use. As Monet grew older, they continued to explore the wealth of art and painting. They learned about famous artists such as Van Gogh, Picasso, and Leonardo da Vinci. Monet practiced and practiced, and soon their artwork became famous too. People from all over the world would come to see Monet's paintings, and they even had their own art exhibit. And so the special baby named Monet grew up to be a famous artist, all because they followed the, the love of art from a very young age. The end. Really? There we go. Okay, guys, so that's the time I have for today. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and peace. And remember, my three channels are Liberty Fan Evie, Bingo Fan Evie's Gaming and Video Channel,